Hey guys, welcome back to Frambo. This is part 11. Last time we got the hat from Coltro, which is the mountain top. Then we went to the library and we got his book and he made us a human again. Um, let's see what else happened. There's a couple of creepy monsters that were trying to get us to go with them. And that's pretty much what we did in the last episode. So let's, uh, oh, and now we have to go find his shoes. Really? Excuse me. Random. Um. Okay. If I remember correctly, they're in this thing. Which is like a club or whatever. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Hello, sir. I don't have a ticket. How do I get one? Well, all, all Athersa citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? Oh, I'm not a citizen, sir. That's why. Not a citizen? That's new. Too new for me. Sorry, little lady. Can't let you in. Alright, sir, I understand, but what do I do? I'd really like to go inside. I don't know. This has never happened before. Hmm, I guess I'll find a way out my... <laughs> Alright, then. I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you. Bye. Um, what's this? Ooh, sweet. Oh, there's a hole behind the firewood. Splendid. Come, kitty, go inside and remember. I need to get a ticket to get in, too. Maybe you can take somebody else's. But I don't want to steal. Just borrow it, kitty. We can give it back later, alright? Alright. I see a ticket, but I can't take it right now. It's being used. The ambulance is waiting for action. A moth. I used to eat those, but I won't this time. That's the dancer. This ladybug is the tiniest I've seen around besides the flies. But it's a batar. The, the bartender, he's working. Oh, that's scary, giant, please. No, thank you. So change the. Oh, he's dancing. Alright. Uh, do you say anything? Oh. Can I take it now? Sweet. Salmon. It looks like I take it. I should give it to friend. I have a ticket. I have it. You're incredible, kitty. I love you so much. Now we can go inside. Here we go. Hello again. Did you find your special ticket yet? Show is about to begin. Um, let's give him the ticket. Look, sir, it's the ticket. It seems that a ticket found its way into my hands. But let me see it. Hmm, this can't be right. I already let somebody in with this ticket. You bring many mysteries, little lady. But how can you know if it's somebody else's ticket? The symbols are correct, but look at the handwriting. It belongs to someone much older than you. I can see that. Alright, then. Is there any chance I can get inside? I mean, is it possible when you have your own ticket, little lady? You're most welcome. Can we take the ticket back? No? I have this. It's kind of faded. Can we... Ooh, I know. We color on it. Oops. 
Chicken, friend and kitty can come in. Can go in party. Alright. Oops, I wanted to give it to him. Ah! No! Sorry, I swear I'm not even doing it on purpose. There we go. Look, sir. This is my own ticket. Oh, I see you simply drew it yourself. Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever. Very clever little lady. Well, I guess I can let you go in. Enjoy the show. Thank you, sir. Okay, can we give this guy back his ticket? Trunk and bubbly. You should get sir. I'm sorry, but I took it. I wanted to give it back. Oh goodness, you're very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, we got an achievement. The kind thief. Well, alright. The self plain piano door down there. I'm curious. Sir, I need your shoes. Why won't you answer me, please? He is concentrating, I think. Ugh. Uh, I don't understand. Hmm. Okay. We'll go back inside. Do I need to like, do it really fast? Ha! Blue, red, yellow. Oh, ha! It's not a real piano, it's just a label. And back. And Nothing is happening. I thought maybe that did something. Did I not do anything? Oh no, how did we do that? We want blue, yellow, this, and then red. Oh, this is a thermometer. I think that, or is, was it called a metronometer? Oh, now I remember a metronome. Eh? Is it so? No, dang it. Oh. Okay, there and then there. Oh no. There we go. Okay. Hopefully this does whatever we need it to do. Talk to him. Hello dancer, I really need to take your shoes. Why is that? Shoes belong to the dancer. I'm a dancer and I need them. Uh, dance with the wizard. I'm sorry, what did you say? I want your shoes. You want what? A little lemonade? You seem a bit tense. No, sir. I don't want lemonade. Where did you get those shoes from? Hmm, you should have drank a little lemonade. At least to... Sir, 
sir, let me explain. I need your shoes. The wizards need them. Oh, that's impossible. I can't give you my shoes. The only way to get my shoes is to take them from me, and as you see, I'm standing on them, so it's impossible. Lift your feet. I can take them. Hmm, camp done. Only the very day when my feet are both up in the air, then we can take my shoes can be taken. Otherwise, I will stand forever. Hm. I see. Well, thank you. Bye. Pretty sure we need to mess with this. Oh, oh shoot. No. There we go. There we go. Ha! He fell. My shoes. Thank you. All right, little wizard. Oh, we need to make it winter. Sir, sir, I have the shoes. They look pretty. Look. Whoa, you did it. You have an extraordinary machine inside your head. Thank you, sir. Now, let's do the last one so I can go home. Last one. Air. Hmm, I recognize this feather. It belongs to Palantras. Yes, uh, I saw him very injured. He will be fine. He has the pink water. That can fix everything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? He go visit the old locust machine doll. My wand will be there. I have to finish my rabbit science. I think I have the answer. Oh, okay, sir. I'll bring your wand back. I'm guessing that's where we met those other creatures. We're here. Yes. Okay, and there's the wand. Alright. I see the wand. Let's see how this works. Aha! Oops. There we go. That was pretty straightforward. Let's take it up to the wizard. He's finished with his uh, rabbit science. Don't know what that means. Don't question. When in doubt, I just don't even question it anymore. Use the great wizard wand. Here's your wand, sir. Oh, magnificent, splendid, you did it. Really, but where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. The stones are very, very special. What I can do is place the stones on the lock, but you... You are the only one who can turn the key to, and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Well, then we should go and talk to him, don't you think? Yes. Let's go to the castle. Alright. We're about to go home. 
kidding. Oops, that's me. Let's go home, kitty. All right. Oh, everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? No, I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go. We will kill the traitors, because that's what he is, Fran, don't you see? Kitty is not a trainer, trainer, traitor. He promised to be by my side, he promised. As your mommy and daddy did, who promised to take good care of you. Wake up, Fran, you're surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone, leave my friends alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the only one who has always been by your side. Now let's get rid of the traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be very, very happy together. That's creepy, all the eyeballs. Oh, Mr. Midnight! Mr. Midnight! Wow, that's uh, quite the fountain of blood. Friend, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. Totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry you feel that way. You should be happy. You found the stones and became human again. That is very great indeed. Sorry, my nose started running randomly. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear. And I feel like I'm about to do that at any moment. I won't. You won't. I know that because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that's the only thing that matters. You will always find power to fight those monsters in you. Now let's go open the gate so you can go home. Yes, let's do that. Do this. Here we are. Yes, but where is the door? Alright, I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? Yes, sir. Or, er, I'm sure, sir. Alright, here we go. Human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Oh, wow. We are going home, kitty. Woohoo, Zara the King. Good day to you. I brought the stones so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be so far away from you all. Then don't leave. I'll make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Wizard, she has to receive. I received a message from one of the villagers. She is not re and she is not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? We know what the Velocus told you about facing the truth. Ah, uh, yes, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magical stones create the lock that only the human can break. Well... Now it's time for a friend to be the key. You are the only one who can open this now. Oh wow. Alright, let's see. It's the star of a thirst A small victory! 
again. You did it, friend. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. You, we won't forget you. You are a very special creature. I almost forgot. Planthorus gave me this for you. It's a box. Oh, thank you. I'll tell Planthorus that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyways, I will tell him. Don't worry. Planthorus is better now. Oh, before you go, you must know. Before you return to your reality, you will go through the secret woods. The woods are kind of an invisible passage between our realities. You may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But just run. They are quite slow. Alright. And you are telling me this now? Huh? That's not scary. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Teehee, I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I like you very much. Bye. Okay. Aww, they're so cute. Alright. It's gonna be harder than it looks. You are ugly. Oh, I thought I missed. Yeah! Yes! I really- I'm glad I didn't have to do that multiple times. Chapter 4, Part 1, My Imaginary Friend. Is Mr. Midnight imaginary? That'd be kind of sad. Ooh, my pills! There's my pills! My goodness, my- the door opened. Wow, that's inter- or wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. Oh, friend, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look. We're, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into a thirsta? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep going, kitty. Be careful now. My pills. Are these my pills? Wow, where are they going? Give me your pills. Ooh, there's a little sign that even says home. Pills, uh, don't move, uh, hug. Okay. Okay. Kitty, why are you- oh. Oh! Somebody caught us. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad friend. Bad, bad. Yeah, but we still have a knife. Let's be real. Wee! <laughs> Mr. Midnight's face was so funny. Ooh, who are you? Fred, you're already here. I wasn't expecting you till 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyways, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I am the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you get Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really, huh? I think I quite managed well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean, they never looked into themselves? They blamed it on me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. Ouch, that's harsh. <laughs> but let's 
stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Do you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I always came by at night and told you stories when you were just a baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary. You see, I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is, you were, um, you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyways, we don't have time to talk about this right now. I'm actually here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. Alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I don't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Ooh, you're really tall. You look quite dapper in that suit. I have to admit it. Behold, the inward flying machine. What do you think? I love it. It has many buttons. Push. Yes, with gorgeous piece, this gorgeous piece of machine machinery will take you home. We will fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235? I don't understand. That is the time that is when time becomes slower and it gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever you want to go. Right now, we are standing at the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. That's a, it sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you are done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries, alright? Alright, better do something than nothing else. At all, I guess. Great. Here's my amazing hand. Here is my amazing handmade bucket of for wa the water. I made it myself. Ooh, it is pretty. And the fire berries. You you realize which berries to pick because of the, of the fire. All right, but sir, can I ask why do you need berries and water? Well, berries are incredible good fuel, and they last many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Kamalas, I hope. I see, I hope they don't come around the playing machine. We never know, but we know they don't like water, yes? Darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see here. My pills! Poppin' pills! Invisible to my eyes. Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Yes, you see about that. I'm sorry, I need to get your attention somehow. Okay, sir, I defeated the trap in like a second. Anyways, I'll go find the fire berries and water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. So. Oh! Ew, I look completely deformed. So much hair, so shiny. So much hair, so shiny. Oh, fire berries! The berries on fire. It has to be fire berries. Get out, get out! You are trans trespassing on my territory. Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How can I possible possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm sorry, but you seem all rotten and bloody. Me rotten and bloody? I think you misunder you're misunderstanding misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose, I'm not a moose. I'm a deedle worm. Uh, excuse me, a deadly worm? No, not a deadly worm. A deedle. De deadly. De. Why don't we just call him a deadly worm? I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what the creature took from it and don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you, sir? 
Oh, he has a little Reaper costume on. How cute. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? My name is Fran. Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why do you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers touch animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire berries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. I see the fire, but I have to take them somehow. Oh, that says hell. Before it said home. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll be working. Thank you, sir. So, now it's hell. Is it home? Uh, can I use the knife? I could cut the berries off the tree, but they are fire. Um, uh, ooh! Ha! Uh, oh dear, I, I can't just jump down and break my life. Can we climb back down the moose? Yes. And hello to you, sir. Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. I have met some of your kind before. I helped them get free from curiosity. Ah, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us into... into... lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? No, not at all. We're just making our hair the longest ever. Oh, that's amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Can... Oop. Can I get water? This is very odd. I, we fell into Earth. There so there was no water. Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. I wonder. Obviously, I'm going to try to use it with him. Please, I need your help, sir. Would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie your bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane. I just need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. Alright, we'll help you tie the bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. The bucket is now full of water. Ah, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere. We all belong. Which do we belong? But does but does home belong somewhere? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I didn't understand the question. It was a theoretical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome in yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I will try to do that some other time. Bye. Alright, let's go. Alright, pills. Alright, let's go talk to him. Did you find the fire berries and water already? We need them for the journey back home. I have many things to fix. Machine must be in excellent condition. So I brought the fire berries, but they are not on fire anymore. Magnificent. They will just do they will do fine. Thank you very much. And we'll give him the water. Sorry, where he has a bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the Luciferns? Yes, they are they are very nice, yes. But only when you see them in this reality. You're very dangerous if you see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Oh, burn me. I've never been to the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. That's re- That- What's the- Reasonable there? Maybe the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. 
Ah, right. It's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside. Alright, so we're going to leave this part here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye!